She's Tell me about her. Where did you find her? Uh, I was called in on her. She was uh, with some friends on the side of the road and she didn't have a home. Somebody just took her and dumped her in the middle of nowhere. Joy, it's okay. Don't worry, baby. And she's just a sweet, sweet, wonderful, wonderful girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, I love you. Yes, I do. You're such a beautiful girl. So you found her in the Redlands like a dirt road? No, she was on a main paved road and she was uh, in danger of being run over. Uh, that's why the people stopped immediately and picked her up. And she has so much love to give and people just dumped her like trash on the side of the road. That makes me so sad. I'm wondering, how could somebody possibly do that? Uh, it's a rock quarry. Um, I believe this one was used by Ed Scowling of the Carl Castle. And it was used for fill for the properties that you see around us. People come here to eat breakfast. So these stray dogs have come into the park to find food. Now they're taking off. They're, they're not gonna stay very long if they don't find something right away. Uh, the fence line will take them over to the other park and that's what they're doing. Uh, people feed them. Uh, and with this tree, it's very cool for them to leap underneath it and it's nice bedding for them. We're going to a road that ends. It's 202 Country Club Road. Is that like a, a popular place where they dump dogs where we're going? Yes, yeah, they dump dogs out there all the time. Why do they dump dogs instead of taking them into shelters? Well, right now, we're not able to take them into shelters because of uh, overcrowding and the pandemic. The pandemic has left us without money and people are just <laughs> They dump them out here because they, they don't want to be seen. But again, right now, we're um, overcrowded and it's awful that we're not able to uh, accept dogs because of the overcrowding. No donations, no adoptions. People work very hard uh, to keep these dogs that they have fed, cared for. Right now, we don't have the money. I have lots of people out there working very hard. But it takes a community to save our dogs and cats. Okay, we're at the end of 202. And 